Live and online from the Orange County Convention Center, this is the 2022 Western Governors University commencement in Orlando, Florida. This ceremony is for bachelor's graduates. This is a live broadcast and will be available for replay on YouTube and WGU's website. Good afternoon. Hello everyone. Welcome to the 91st commencement for Western Governors University. I'm Chancellor Ben Coulter and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Orlando. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate this special occasion. Our ceremony is being recorded and streamed live over the internet. A special welcome to all our online viewers joining us from across the country and around the world. At this time, I'd like to pause to recognize graduates affiliated with our nation's armed forces. Many of our military graduates here today have used the military tuition assistance or the GI Bill benefits to help pay for their WGU degrees. As a veteran who relied on GI Bill benefits to pay for my master's degree and my doctoral degree, I know firsthand the value of higher education and what it can do for post-career services. Recognizing that November is National Veterans and Military Families Month, we also acknowledge all veterans in attendance at today's commencement. Whether you're a guest, a family member, a WGU faculty member, or an employee, we thank you for your service. Now as you're able, uh, I invite you to please stand for the processional and remain standing for our national anthem.
Will everybody please rise for the national anthem? So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Please be seated. Good afternoon and welcome everyone. I'd like to thank Carl Slate of Richmond, Virginia for performing our national anthem today. Carl earned his Bachelor of Science in Data Management and Data Analytics from WGU earlier this year. Carl has worked for Goodwill of Central and Coastal Virginia since 2014, and in 2018 became a platform architect for that organization. Thank you and congratulations, Carl. It is my distinct honor to convene the 91st Western Governors University commencement. Please know that the safety of our graduates guests, faculty, staff, and all attending or supporting this commencement is of utmost importance. We thank each and all of you for taking the precautions necessary to allow this event to occur and for us to do it safely. On behalf of the entire university and our board of trustees, we welcome our honored graduates and we congratulate you on completing one of life's great accomplishments. Today is your day, graduates. It's a day to celebrate with your families and your friends, with all those who have supported you along the journey. I urge you to take full advantage of what this hard-earned degree offers to you and to your communities. You've worked diligently, many through the pandemic, to reach this milestone. Today, we congratulate and celebrate you and the numerous challenges you have faced and overcome. You have worked hard and studied late, earning your degree while keeping your commitments to families and jobs. Your time at WGU has prepared you for your next role and your next opportunity. You are now equipped to propel yourselves, your families, and your communities forward, and we know that you will be successful. You join 38% of adults in the United States who hold a bachelor's degree. Today, many of you are graduating with a family member. We offer special congratulations to those who are sharing this important accomplishment with a loved one. Thank you. 
WGU is grateful to be recognized year after year as a military-friendly university. As Ben mentioned earlier, we are especially proud to honor the military members who are graduating today. We thank you for your service to our country. You may have noticed that our military graduates are proudly wearing red, white, and blue cords today to symbolize their service to our country. We thank these brave individuals. We would like to ask you now, will you please stand to be recognized? Also joining us today are many of our WGU faculty and staff. Please put your hands together to show your appreciation for the time and the dedication they put into their work. Thank you. I'd like to share some facts with you about today's graduating class. 37% of you are the first in your family to earn a college degree. We extend a special congratulations to you. Your average age is 37 years old, the youngest of you is 18, and the oldest is 65. <laughs> 71 percent of you are women. <laughs> The average time it took you to earn a bachelor's degree was three years and four months. Forty-four states are represented here today. The state with the most graduates in attendance is Florida with 531. <laughs> Our graduate who traveled the farthest to join us today is from the Northern Mariana Islands. A special thanks to all of you who traveled great distances to be with us today. You all worked diligently to reach an educational milestone that will change the course of your own history and influence future generations of your family. Thank you for allowing us at WGU to play a part in the fulfillment of your dream. It has been our honor. And now we have the honor of hearing from two of your fellow graduates. I'm delighted to introduce you to Sarah Minix, Bachelor of Science in Business HR Management, who is from Alabama. And then immediately afterwards, we will hear from Daniel Brothers, Bachelor of Science in Business Management, who is joining us from Massachusetts. Please join me in welcoming Sarah, who is celebrating her birthday today, along with her twin brother, Stephen. That was my twin. <laughs> my name is Sarah Elizabeth Minix, and I am honored to share my story with you today. To get to this point, I have overcome many challenges. I faced health issues and depression. I often struggle to find my motivation and purpose. The most difficult hurdle I faced was after the passing of one of my friends, Cassie. She passed away from complications of Turner Syndrome in December of 2020. With a friendship as great as Cassie's, it was not easy dealing with that amount of grief so suddenly. Her loss devastated me. Through all of this, it would have been so easy to give up. I am sure we all went through our own challenges getting to graduation day, but we also had our own reason for not giving up. For me, I was doing it to prove that my fifth grade teacher was wrong about me. <laughs> that year, he called me stupid when I could not figure out a math problem. 
I spent every day after that fully believing those words. I believed that because I was not smart enough, I was not good enough. It was not until I started taking classes at WGU that I gained confidence in what I could accomplish. I cannot tell you the exact moment it happened, but somewhere along the way, I had forgotten the sting of those teacher's words all those years ago. I understood it was never about my lack of ability to learn. I was always capable and intelligent. I was always enough. I soon realized that I am no longer earning this degree to prove anything to anyone. I am doing this for the fifth grade girl who did not believe in herself. I had no idea when I started this degree it would lead to healing. I could share with you countless stories of people who did not believe in me and my potential. Thankfully, I also had people who did believe in me sprinkled in throughout my life. The first teacher I can recall telling me I was smart was my eighth grade teacher, Mrs. Sade. Of course, I did not believe her then, but the seed of belief was planted, and today that flower blooms. When I first shared that I was going back to school, I felt blessed to be met with overwhelming support from my friends and family. They were there as I cried because I struggled with the concept, listened to me vent after every proctor test. <laughs> they encouraged me to keep going when I wanted to give up. They stood beside me as I grieved and grew, and they cheered and celebrated with every pass. Because of WGU's competency-based learning, I know that I am prepared for my career. This experience has shown me the only limits I have are those I place on myself. I want to thank my program mentor, Nikki Harrington, my course instructors, my friends, and my family. I could not have done this without you. I also want to give a special thanks to my husband. He made sure I celebrated the little wins as well as the big ones. He would play a victory song after every objective assessment. <laughs> he would try and corral our two cats during my proctor test so I wasn't distracted. And when I was procrastinating, he would always ask, so, how's school going? <laughs> <laughs> making sure I stayed on task. Andrew, without your support, I could not have made this dream come true. <laughs> to the graduating class, today I encourage you to push past the limits that were placed on you or that you placed on yourself. You are capable of so much, and being here today is proof of that. Remember those who believed in you, and heal from those that didn't. Congratulations to you all. Good afternoon. Congratulations, Sarah, and happy birthday. Dr. Estep, distinguished guests, respected faculty and staff, family members and friends, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. My name is Daniel Brothers. It's an honor to share my journey to graduation. Henry Ford said, anyone who stops learning is old, whether it be at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. As one of the older graduates today, I'm doing my best to stay young. My fellow graduates, how many of you thought this would never happen? 
How many of you, yeah. How many of you thought you would never achieve a college degree? Well, true confession, I was one of them. And today at 61 years old, I will march to officially receive mine. <clears throat> My quest for a degree began back in the 1970s, a time when many of you here today had not yet been born. <laughs> I grew up in a suburb outside of Boston, the oldest of five children of a working class family. My dad was a milkman and worked other odd jobs to provide for us. He was the hardest working man I've ever met in my life. Sadly, he passed away suddenly during my junior year of high school. He was only 37 years old. My mom raised us five children, who at the time of my dad's death ranged from the ages of six to 17. I am proud to often speak of my three brothers and sister and how we, despite overwhelming odds, have all become respectful adults and have raised beautiful families. We all made sacrifices for our families. After one year at a brick and mortar college, I gave up the traditional path to a college degree and left school. The lack of financial resources and the need to be home to grieve the loss of my father were the main reasons I gave up at that point. To go through what we did at such young ages was very difficult. As far as college goes, I plan to go back at some point. And my message to many of you out there in the same situation, do it now. Going back is difficult. Life gets in the way, and you always find a reason not to go back. Personally, it haunted me for a long time. It prohibited me from applying for positions that require a degree. But I always felt like something was missing. I was incomplete. There was an emptiness inside of me. Something that happened next helped put me back on the journey to a degree. Several years ago, I received an award for coaching high school lacrosse. The local newspaper sent a reporter out to write an article about me. After an extensive interview, he commented that there wasn't much I hadn't done in my career. I replied how I had never earned a college degree. His response, well, why not now? Those words, Doug Hastings, stuck in my head. It was shortly thereafter I came across an advertisement for Western Governors University. The time was right. The time was now. If this was ever going to happen, I would have to be the one to make it happen. I enrolled and started immediately on my first course. I discovered I loved learning. I attacked each class as an opportunity to learn something new. However, as we all know, it was not always a smooth road. We all faced obstacles in getting here today. Never enough time, studying on lunch breaks, family commitments, late nights and early morning studying, proctored exams, and life in general. In my weekly meetings with my program mentor, we discussed these challenges. I often spoke about these obstacles and told him I could see a light at the end of the tunnel. However, I always felt this proverbial light was a freight train ready to run over my dream. <laughs> my mentors always encouraged me that this light would one day be symbolic of one of the greatest accomplishments of my life. To Rakim Fields, Mindy Rogo, and Ann Mackin, I thank you for your constant encouragement. I don't think our program mentors get nearly enough credit for helping us along this journey. When the pandemic started, I was on a semester break. But while the world was shutting down, I decided it was time to reopen my WGU world and get back into my studies. I found a way to turn the pandemic into a positive. As a practicing night owl, I would wake up each day at 5 a.m. to log into my course of study. As I came closer to the end, I found my work had become easier. I found more time to complete the tasks. And when my capstone turned green, signifying completion, I was still in dis dis disbelief that I was finished. But on November 11, 2021, it became reality. The email finally arrived. 
The email confirmed that I had completed the requirements for my bachelor's degree. I had completed the journey. I was overcome with emotions. The late great Hall of Fame basketball coach Jim Valvano, during his ESPY Awards speech, commented how there are three things you should do every day. Think, laugh, and cry. He would say, if you did all three, that would be a full day. As I sat in my office after receiving that email, I did all three. <laughs> I thought about my journey, and honestly, I laughed how long it took. <laughs> but my thoughts brought me to tears about what I had accomplished. I'd like to thank the mentors and all the staff at WGU who gave me this opportunity. Western Governors University was the perfect institution for me. I'd like to thank my family, my wife Carol, who was my biggest supporter throughout this journey, my son Mark and my future — thank you. My son Mark, my future daughter-in-law Molly, my son Patrick and his girlfriend Renata, all of whom will celebrate with me today. My fellow graduates, do not take lightly what you have accomplished. It is a monumental accomplishment. Course mentor Frank San Pietro always reminded students they now have transformed the answer to a previously uncomfortable question to a single word. Do you have your bachelor's degree? And that answer now is a simple yes. And today, 43 years after walking across the stage to receive my high school diploma, I get to walk across this stage with all of you as college graduates. Congratulations and thank you. Wow. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you, Daniel, for sharing your stories with us today. Sarah, I am so happy that this degree journey helped you on your journey of healing. Teachers like Mrs. Sade make the real difference, and I'm glad you ended up at WGU and have proved certain people to be wrong. I echo the challenge you issued today to push past the limits that we place on ourselves or that, we, that others place on us. It's a great reminder that we all can do the hard things. And Daniel, you are right. The time is now. Now is always the right time because there will always be something, work, family, et cetera. Because as you said, now is the time you can answer the question, do you have a bachelor's degree? You can answer that with a resounding yes. And you will walk across this stage today. Congratulations to you both, Sarah and Daniel. On behalf of all of us at WGU, thank you for being here to be part of our, our service today. Now I would like to turn it over to Dr. Lucas Cavley, who will assist us in the conferring of degrees. Dr. Cavley. All righty. So who's ready to graduate today? Anybody out there? Yes, absolutely. So we're going to now recognize each of our bachelor's degree graduates, so listen closely because this is your final assessment during your time at Western Governors <laughs> University. Now, those of you who have studied long, those of you who have passed all your assessment, those of you who have completed a baccalaureate degree or a teacher preparation endorsement at WGU, would you please stand up if you are able? You all fail. Come on now. <laughs> Goodness gracious, there they go. All right. You've already made it through. You already got the email that said you're done. So this is all ceremony. But nonetheless, it's time for me to give you your hard-earned degree. And it's upon the favorable recommendation of our faculty and the authority that's vested in me by the, member, uh, by the Board of Trustees and the member governors of Western Governors University that I hereby confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree or the education, edu the education endorsement that you have earned. This includes the Bachelor of Arts. It includes the Bachelor of Science in your areas of specialization or the Bachelor of Science in Nursing with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. You may now move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortarboard. <laughs> the 
just don't throw your hats in the air because boy, those things are pointy and they come down. What goes up must come down. Congratulations, welcome to the community of college graduates, please. Be seated just for a moment. What we're going to do is we're going to have the following leaders from each of our colleges and schools to invite the graduates to the stage for each of your moments in the spotlight. First and foremost, we're going to hear from Dr. Victor Aloisa. He's the Vice President and Dean of Business Programs for the College of Business. After him will be Dr. Janelle Sokolowicz. She's the Academic Vice President and Dean for the Michael O. Levitt School of Health. We will have then Mr. Ashutosh Tiwari. He's the Senior Vice President, the Executive Dean in the College of Information Technology. And last but not least, our fantastic educators will be brought on by Dr. Stacy Ludwig Johnson. She's the recently appointed Senior Vice President and Executive Dean for the School of Education. Victor, your turn. Good afternoon. Okay, my uh, College of Business graduates, starting with the first row. Please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually and to start changing the world for better. Adriana Melkor. Daniel Slaughter. Michael Ellis. Madison Attridge. Jody Allen. Candice White. Amanda Thomas. Aaron Vaughn. Christina Aguilar. Lori Guidi Dedman. Michelle Dvorak. Anthony Stefan. Ashley Carver. Sharon Dudley. John Fletcher. Raulio Ramirez. Eric Jones. Abner Santiago. Teresa Reynolds. Seth Halstead. Sarah Elizabeth Minnick. Sarah Nicole Hicks. Daniel Brothers. Kelly Rogers. <laughs> Teresa Jackson. Georgette Carter. Muhammad F. Ershad. Mm -hmm. 
Sherry Bislowski. Carlos Rodriguez. Tanya Robbins. Lisa Lockhart. Brenda Richard. Devin Caswell. Dextra Ruiz. Jason Lunt. Sharon Pardenas. Jeremy Cheeseboro. Robert Jackson. David Fitzgordon. Jeremy Hanna. Kim Reed. Daniel Dado. Kelly Rackley. Angela Miller. Jennifer Flores. Kelly Herman. Nancy Rodriguez. Cynthia Barayas. Lunella Calisto. Deandra Dyson. Robin Johnson. Edith Cortez. Robin, that was like a tiny shimmy. You got a bigger one for us? I'm chilling. Congratulations. Marsha Virgilin. Sharonda Harrison. Nathan Crow. Daniel David Sanchez. Elizabeth Anderson. Hannah Bolweiler. Katrina Calvert. Karen Stoidy. Jenna Robichaud. Matthew Krause. Tia Edie Vasquez. Amber Gordon. Rachel Tompkins. Hillary McFarland. Elaine L. Biamonte. Alma Grant. Kirsten Gartner. Chantrell Pitt. Jessica Smith. Christine Peterson. 
Amari Ortiz. Jonathan Brown. Anya Emil. Dakota Holmes. Jennifer Chandra. Emily Graham. Jason Smith. Renee Kinlock. Sarah Kendall. Rochelle Paya. Christina Lopez. Nicole Mills. Bryce Stevens. Julina Wilkins. Joseph Garris, Jr. Salvatore Cuomo. Jillian Bates. Tisha White. Catherine Bauman. Gabriel Machayashek. Savannah Hicks. Trisha Fawn. Johnny Encarnacion. Charles Jordan. Christopher Ignis. Stacy Sutton. Robert Kemp. Jonathan Micus. James Jackson the Fourth. Jennifer Plutier. Jorge Vega. Alexander Bennett. Donna Gober. Lauren Crutchfield Imondi. Eric Cruz. Yvette Couch. Joshua Casey. Robin Talford. Beth Spencer. Melissa Rowell. Christina Chapman. Disha Patel. Han Lei. Zachary Dempsey. Samantha Tapley. Barry Lynn Stagg. Hedian R. Jackson. Joseph Robertson. 
Emmanuel Bonilla. William Boatman. Sarah Vaughn. Gregory Geralds. Rachel Steiger. Rupam Sidhu. Caitlin Lindner. Diana Aquino. Brianna Wolf. Casey Redman. Ray Tucker. Dion Craig. Mark Park. Chelsea Martinez. Che Pfeiffer. Paige Gisclair. Nicole Manier. Ashley Benson Holmes. Megan Wilson. Matthew Olgeen. Jermaine Stitt Seawright. Amber Guerin. Sean Spellman. Morgan Craven. Wendy Salas. Courtney Bruce. Dundi LaBranch. Arturo Quezeda. Lydia Marie Reynolds. Charlene Baker. Elizabeth Jagir. Caitlin Kirsten. Kinesha Beatty. Cliff Johnson. Natasha Minier. Christine Caswell. Christian Edouard. Stacy Hamilton. Tammy Carolee. Jessica Amy McBrayer. Jessica Groshan. Michael Pellerito. Charity Aiken. Mallory Sutphin. Vanessa Kearney. Caress Boykin. Melissa Wertheim. Miranda Kaiser. Hi, 
Lady Hex. Jaquita Thompson. Stephanie Shelby. Donita Taylor. Ravi O'Hara. Christine Joy McCauley. Tiffany Skillman. Teresa Smithart. Tynesha Haynes. Hilda Garcia. Rachel Loney. Elizabeth Sexton Harden. Maya Miller. Brianna Crawford. Jennifer Wittenberg. Andreas Lopez. Ariel Champagne. Anna Karsha Marshak. Jennifer Gooden. Marco Quintero. Brianna Edwards Gosby. Wilfredo Canas. Brandon Ward. Maria Del Carmen Call. Brandon Williams. Kevin Whirlton. Maddie Ralston. Tatiana Frazier. Crystal Zamudio. Autumn Hofsais. Alexandria Frank. Stephen Hofsais. Nicholas Russett. Congratulations to all of the graduates of WGU's College of Business. health, it's our turn. <laughs> For many of you, you will be entering in the most wonderful profession in the world, which is the profession of health. The care of patients and their families and generations will give you more joy than I could ever explain to you today. For some of you, you will continue the advancement of a degree that you earned years ago, and you have committed yourself to the care of patients and their families for many years. I applaud you all today. I am so very proud of you and this accomplishment. You will change your life and the life of your family and generations to come. 
For those from the Michael O. Levitt School of Health, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually and to make your mark on this world. Jennifer DeMay. Sarah Boyce. Heather Sedato. Nancy Wen. Chrysalina Kalon Johnson. Monica Wilson. Beverly Daly. William Lovell. Yana Proto. Sierra Wilborn. Victoria Kerr. Amber Bachnight. Amber Bajent. Michelle Handy. Roslyn Ladson Hamilton. The whole way back. Come on, huh? that's right. Ranal Ramar Ringor. Casey Hinkins. Ray Desherdu. Jennifer Smith. Charlotte Usry. Melissa Foberg. Anna Abigail Ibarra Nunez. Jackie Keeney. Melinda Rose. Divine Mutandwa. Shannon M. Berry. Sharina Lee. Grace Yusuf. Nicole Asavio Warfield. Lynn Ellerbrock. John Warfield. Jean Velarde. Dawn Clark. Kazara King. Tanya Smith. Stacy Para. Melanie Vanderkoy. Karen Kalura. Merlin Barlow. Renee Hawk. John Denmark Lizardo.
Taylor Malpiede. Sarah Chapman. Coral Grady. Christina Davidson. Samantha Sumral. Myra Riviera. Tamika Smith. Diane Matlock. Christy Brown. Allison Berger. Catherine Valdivinos. Jennifer Hansen. Maria Isabel Perez. Shannon Best. Rolinda Montemayor. Tavora Woolard. Joey Roberts. You got it. Brittany Flowers. <laughs> Jesse Buchanan. Melissa Britton. Edith Gay. Horbody, Hernandez Prasad. Elizabeth Wesson. Maria De Jesus Colungra. Leslie Joe. Hillary Carter. Kelly Sanchez. Gisela Fascinelli Martinez. Shakira Jones. Sarah Klein. Elizabeth Oliver. Elizabeth Sullivan. Jamie Lund. Kama Whitaker. Bernie Delgado. Katina Marie Moss. Marita Foreman. Kiana Marie Renee Williams. Sabrina Hernandez. Stephanie McMickle. Chanel Hammonds. Julia D'Angelo. Corin Brown. Beatrice Franco.
Bridget Inos Oginan. Chioma Dennis. Terry Jordan. Catherine Sear. Lamoy Frey. Agnes Sakai. Samantha Hancock. Leanne Kennedy. Tanya Lutz. Pedro Lopez. Kayla Callahan. Jesus Lopez. Caitlin Weber. Julia Leama. Samantha Hart. Deborah Dewerson. Amy Suit. Trinika Smith. Janine Bakari. Wendy Colindras. Mikosin Kui. Giselle Chutan Tanani. Michelle Ames. Rose More Money. Sandra Delalu. Heather Soulsgiver. Ashley Coles. Abigail Mensa. Lucienne Massanat. Evie Parchment. Madison Saldana Garcia. Vanessa Arbuckle. RJ Ilagan. Maureen Namuanda. Gwendolyn Napolitano. Heather Coker. Rachel L. Anderson. Tracy Spivey. Andrew Arcan. Shannon Martin. Benedict Georges. Rochelle Jean Francy. Loretta Rayon. Bridget Cabarras. Anita Gonzalez. Taisha I. Okay. 
Adriana Delavara. Bernice Contour. Annie Hubby. Nade Nadeji Sanad. Doa Alhawamda. Geraldine Tiernan. Dalton Angingbade. Congratulations to the graduating class of WGU's Michael O'Levitt School of Health. Good afternoon to the newly minted graduates of the College of Information Technology. Are you ready to go change the world? Then today is your day. Will the graduates from the College of Information Technology, starting with the first row, please come forward at the direction of the marshals to be recognized individually. Come on up. Regina Michelle Russell. Leroy Wilman. Arl Slate the second. Sophia Wagner. Connor Pickering. Jesus Gomez. Tyler Waldrop. Ricardo Lopez. Rodolfo Luis Mendez Machicek. Cody Campbell. Akbar Kaker. Osvaldo Herrera. Pierre Mason. Barbara Webb. Diego Mejia. Kevin Carter. John Morrison. Damian Romano. Mohi. Aaron Kennedy. Gabrielle Llewellyn. Philip Bromer. Christian Hernandez. Ada Esther Gil Jimenez. Clint Sanchez. Enrique Sendeo Jr. Alvin Davis.
Saida Alam. Chandler Lovett. Jeffrey Schneider. William Harrison Hampton III. Cynthia Potten. Adam Corvin. Megan Redling. Shweta Malakarjun Hiri Gowder. Nicholas Balico. Michael Henderson. Francis Dobson. Mark Hollis. Rui Fernandez. Ray Randall. Craig Felbinger. Alexa Fisher. Kristen Stewart. Joshua Culver. Joseph Welker. Layla Adams. Malik Hare. Tyrell Brewster. TJ Clooney. Rachel Venzant. Arlene Sanders. Samuel Smith. Harley Harrell. Angel Ramirez. Derek Curran. Cameron Stephens. Eric Geisler. Dustin Gaston. John Pilant. Eric Brown. Jacob Broyles. Trevor Cole Gray. Dwayne Critchlow. Charles Shepard. Felix Alberto. Kelly Pepper. David Rigdon. Shahan Syed. Suzanne Winsky. Jackson Weiss. David Hill. Alejandro Salas. Marguerite Chase. Oscar Godinez.
Jonathan Hooks. Eugenia Clark. Andrew Lewis. Jeffrey Gerald. Jacob Bryant. Tinda Augustin Martin. Jenica Gonzalez. Kasha Alt. Michael Henderson. Emerson Arcella. Michael Griffin. Bradley Shannon. Marcus Dunbar. Christian Kurth. Raphael Pimentel. Jeremy Rogers. Stephen Shores. Jason Corey. Joshua Summers. Daniel Benjamin. Cassandra Cleesby. Radhi Muhammad. Stephen Stowers. Jabril Floyd. Nicholas Muldrow. Jamal Wells. Eric Wenthe. Caleb Barthlemy. James Fisher II. Adebola Adesanye. Alex Salas Banales. Ihis Agbunjazu. Joe Pelayo. Justin Fontan. Andrew Greenwell. Kristen Thomason. Ethan Hamar. Michael Prather. Jamika Smith. Caitlin Vaught. Mohammed Jelly. Jermaine Beckford. Ashley Strador. Wasim Kalik. Eric Simons.
Jose R. Perez, Jr. Jacob Hewitson. Mario Popoca. Noah Colos. Lakeisha Denton. Andrew McCormick. Alicia Al Maliki. Ashley Elise Jensen. Tyler Harris. Matthew Jenkins. Sergio Fernandez. Congratulations to the graduates of WGU's College of Information Technology. WGU School of Education, are you awake out there? There is no better way to wrap up this commencement and the National Education Week than with the commencement of all of you from the School of Ed. And to just give you a sense of impact, there's 309 of you walking today between the two ceremonies, and it's estimated that you will touch the lives of at least 3,000 students. So together, it's 297,000 young lives that you're going to impact. We are so proud of you, and thank you for what you're gonna do to impact this country. So congratulations, and come forward and receive your diplomas. Yolanda Trulove. Sandra Babbitts. Heather Ludwig. Marissa Russell. Lakisha Odom. Melissa Lambert. Taylor May. Victoria Robles. Marissa Vaughn. Kirsten Gray. Caitlin Weaver. Erica Miracle. Christina Phelps. Catherine Frazier. Nikki Wolf. Miranda Kinsey. Alvia Winfrey. Miranda Hoover. Joshua Brannon.
Carlisha Lee. Amber Shane. Tara Spranger. Julie Stahl. Mia Smith. Rebecca Schaffer. Melissa Cruz Mejias. Cassidy Bershback. Anna Foster. Heather Samrell. Caitlin Case. Sophia Hernandez. Alicia Davis. Megan Raffield. Danielle Jones. Retia Wallace. Elizabeth Harsh. Roma Este McDonald. Brittany Auer. Gregory Shivers. Alicia Tunstall. Catherine Janway. Dora Anaya. Nicole Daniels. Caitlin Jaramillo. Autumn Wallace. Jessica Murphy. Tukia Noel Obins. Ashley Mizell. Mackenzie Arrowood. Nicole Yoreko. Jennifer Glancy. Sarah Jade Elizabeth Chester. Bethany Reichman. Jennifer Brooks. Jason Lobosco. Brenda Arroyos. Alyssa Batrani. Ashley Peabody. Petey Gay Stewart. Regina Hunt. Sierra Saunders. Guinevere Corsi. Stacy Walker Taylor. Tiffany Grant. Alexandra Anthony. Lindsay Altice. 
Stephanie Wall. Maricela Ramirez. Lee McAvoy. Kimberly Hodges. Annette Gonzalez. Brandy Murphy. Regina Sherlock Weeks. Rachel Steele. Olivia McCoy. Amanda Jubelt. Jessica Gossin. Jessica Musgrove. Julissa Simundi. Christina Himmel. Christina Ritchie. Perry Jo Remy. Kayla Myers. Shakita Jenkins. Larissa Sigmunds. Tiffany Tatro. Ariella Grudzinski. Hayden Cooper. Carrie Halligan. Leanna German. Carrie Ellison. Esmeralda Vargas. Catherine Hunt. Joya Andrea Marie Carthy. Alyssa Wilson. Allison Millas. Allison Eugene. Daniel Dillon. Olivia Savaldi. Katie Johnson. Marie Cassion. Kate Santara. Jasmine Griffin. Joseph Henry. Andrea Mosley Mitchell. Megan Swales. Solangel Laura. Stephanie Kersey. Stephanie Hall. Johanna Mayfield. Tiffany Hurd. Grayson Burness. 
Allison Turgeon. Gisellus Alvarado. Katina Rice. Elizabeth McNeely. Danielle Collins. Bernadette Martinez. Vicky Davila. Rochelle William. Nikki Galasso. Adriana Iwabuchi Alfaro. Heather Steverson. Jennifer, Jennifer Carroll. Laura Leavitt. Christy Dunn. Shantae Shaver. Ebony Biddens. Abigail Schwagel. Cynthia Brom. Ashley Iorara. Latoya Simpson. Ashley Ahola. Candace P. Wesley. Berletta Miller. Congratulations to all of the graduates in the WGU School of Education. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Now I am delighted to introduce Kevin Colopy from Wilmington, North Carolina, who is representing our growing alumni community today. In 2021, Kevin completed his Master's in Healthcare Leadership at WGU. Kevin is an accomplished pre-hospital and critical care transport medicine leader who has been engaged in supporting his community and advancing his profession for more than 20 years. Kevin's lab testing program was the first accredited EMS program accredited by the College of American Pathologists. He was recognized as an EMS 10 innovator in 2014, recognized as a 2022 WGU Distinguished Graduate. Kevin will represent our alumni with a brief message at this time. Welcome, Kevin. Good afternoon, WGU graduates. On behalf of the more than 300,000 WGU, WGU alumni worldwide, I welcome you to our Alumni Association. What a thrill it is for me to be here with you, with all of you at this commencement during WGU's 25th anniversary year. It was not long ago that I was sitting in your seats as a recent graduate from WGU. WGU provided an enriching and engaging student experience for me, and I'm happy to share that my learning and engagement with the university did not end when I graduated, and I hope that's the case for you too. After all, we are all night owls for life. I invite you to stay engaged with the many benefits WGU has to offer through the WGU Alumni Association, including free learning resources, career coaching, benefits, and much, much more. Visit wgu.edu backslash alumni to stay engaged. 
Congratulations, Night Owls, and I'll see all of you in the Alumni Network. Thank you, Kevin. I'd like to take this moment to recognize and thank all the graduates who are wearing the gold and blue philanthropy cords today, recognizing their generosity and support of other students and of WGU's fellow Night Owl Scholarship. Philanthropy cords are not only a physical symbol of a graduate's commitment to WGU, they also support a legacy that will last for generations to come. Thanks to the incredible support of these alumni and thousands of alumni before them, nearly $225,000 has been raised for the Fellow Night Owl Scholarship, which has helped more than 180 students cross the finish line to graduation. Thank you for your support in helping your fellow Night Owls succeed. For many of you, earning your diploma is the fulfillment of a lifetime goal. The degree that you have earned at WGU will create new pathways to opportunity. But it is important to remember that commencement is not the end. Today's commencement represents your new beginning. Whatever you choose to do, believe that you'll do it well and great things will follow. As you continue on your journey, I encourage you to support others who are pursuing their dreams. As we close today, I hope you will take a moment to reflect on the pride that you felt during this ceremony as you step out into your new beginning. Thank you for letting us be a part of your educational journey. As of this weekend, we are now celebrating another WGU milestone. We have reached 300,000 graduates since our beginning 25 years ago. Thanks to all of you for being part of this milestone. As you celebrate, please share your excitement on social media using the hashtag WGUGrad. This concludes our ceremony. Thank all of you for joining us.